Frank Seppi for NPC News Online here at the NPC Photo Gym in Pittsburgh with IPB Pro Men's Classic Physique competitor Joe Rudog Russo. How you guys doing? What's up? How you doing, brother? Competing in the IP Pit Pittsburgh Pro. Yeah. How do you feel? How'd your prep go? Man, it's uh, it's been a it's been a journey this year for sure. Uh, last year it was smooth. I mean, I was on my A game, but this year I had some bumps in there a little bit here and there. But you know what? I think it made me stronger mentally, physically, and all together, you know, especially towards the end of the month, I feel like I brought a more conditioned package um, from the Chicago Pro from last year to this year. So I'm super excited to see what's up and what I bring out there and how we can nail it, you know? No, no nerves? You seem confident. Man, you know what? <laughs> Chicago was definitely nerves. You know, all in all, man, after I broke that ice and the way the guys are backstage and how they treat you and how this is like a brotherhood and everybody's so cool, it, it, you know, it opens up the doors to just get friendships out there. I can't wait to compete with these guys that I'm going to be going against, but also making friendships with them and getting to know them better besides the Instagram, you know? So <laughs> it's going to be pretty cool, pretty cool to open those doors. So I'm looking forward to it. What did you work on from the Chicago Pro till now to be better? Man, you know, uh, we always got things to work on. I had a lot of things to improve on, man. I tell you what, uh, my biggest thing was my lower back and my inner legs for my thighs to, to well develop them and even my outer legs. So I uh, put a lot of effort into those two body parts, worked my butt off and you know I improved a little bit in both sides and you know obviously there are two big muscle parts uh, to kind of handle within that you know span time from last year to this year but I think I did pretty dang good so we're gonna see what happens out there. What about posing now? Have you changed up your posing routine? So, you know, you went from amateur, you went to the, straight to the pro stage. Right. Did you have to make any tweaks in your posing? Man, you know, we always do. Posing is number one, especially for classic physique, you guys. I mean, that's just like the A game of it all that you need to nail. So I'm always trying to improve on my pose. And not to mention your body changes. Mm -hmm. You know, the way you look, you improve every year. So I try to, you know, try to get different looks on me to see if, you know, I copy a lot of these pros guys out there. I follow them and see what looks good on them and try it out for myself and see if it works. I look at a lot of old school bodybuildings from back in the 70s and in the 80s and study those guys. And not every, you know, posing and, and, and style works for you. So you gotta figure out what works and works works well for you as well. So, you know, I just study, I try them. You know, there's some, some awesome ones that I wish I can do out there that some of these guys got, or like the vacuum. I'm not really great on the vacuum yet, but I'm working on it and I'm just trying to improve my game all around. So yeah, I'm trying to get better at my, my posing as well well as everything else so what uh, what classic physique pose did you pick man my, my classic I got two of them but I really like the old school one where the Flex Lewis straight out pose one but I also like my my Chicago debut one <laughs> and my my junior nationals with the double bicep one too so we'll see what I'm gonna come out with when the end comes out and how I look at the end but it's gonna be a surprise for you guys but either way you're gonna love that final pose what about music now? If you get to pose, what do you get? What'd you pick? Oh, brother, it's been the it's been the <laughs> same. I'm I'm old school, and I'm like you know I'm I'm on my game. So it's it's been good for me. This the song that I picked. It's uh, it's Champion by um, Carrie Underwood. So it just that song alone. If you guys listen to it, it has Ludacris in it too, featuring him. But that whole song is just motivating. It's it's powerful. It's inspiring, and everything the wording of it. If you guys listen to it, it's just everything about me and my journey involved with this game. So, Champion by Carrie Underwood, that's been my song from last year. It's been doing me well, and I'm going to continue on doing it until, you know, I don't get placed or something happens to me. But that's my song right there. How did you initially get involved and get motivated to compete? Man, you know, I've always been an athlete my whole life. I love sports. Uh, football, of course, we always came from somewhere. So I was always a little guy, had to improve, had to get size on. So obviously we fell in love with the gym. We picked it up. And ever since that, man, it's always done well for me with even in life and with self-confidence, with yourself and motivation um, and in sports. It's helped me out gratefully in the football field from not getting knocked around and, and tossed and all that stuff. So I played running back and strong safety. So you know how those are physical you know, spots right there. So. It, it, all in all, it's done me well and it built my nucleus through life. And, you know, I fell in love with it and I've always continued on working out. I've never dropped it. And, you know, it, when people would go out on Friday, Saturday nights and stuff, I would be, you know, in the gym working out all day long and people would be like, what the heck's wrong with you? But <laughs> it was just a fun hobby for me to do that I just always loved. It was like my girlfriend. I always told people <laughs> that was like my girlfriend that I have always had. You know, she never did me wrong and is always there for me. So, you know, I, I've uh, uh, just put in the years and time and, 
Um, I played semi-pro football for a couple years out of high school, and then I went to arena football for a couple years. I pulled my hamstring in my late 20s and um, never healed right, so I couldn't play running back anymore. So I had to give it up. I had to tell myself, you know, as an athlete, it's kind of tough, but you got to say, hey, it's time to hang the cleats up. You know, these guys are catching you from five yards out. But, uh, you know, all in all, I took that, and I, I continued weightlifting, and my body was always still good, and Classic Physique came out. So I was a bodybuilder back then, but now Classic Physique came out. It fit my body style a lot better, it, my, my style and my form and, and how my built is. So all in all, I was like, let's give it a shot. Let's give it a try. You know, I'm entering my 30s, and, and I wanted to compete with these young guys and see if I can still do it. And, uh, you know, I've always wanted to become a pro in this sport. It was either be a, f a pro football player or a pro bodybuilder because I love those guys back in the day. I've always studied them. I've always watched them. And, and, and plus, you did I, it. I, I did bodybuilding when I was a young teen, did Mr. Michigan uh, two years in a row. And then I went to nationals and NPC for teen and collegiate as well. Um, and so all in all, you know, it's always been in my blood to do so. And, you know, I, I told myself I want to turn pro, which I did last year at Junior Nationals in Chicago, which was my hometown, which was really big for me to do, you know, to, to turn pro there. So it meant something for me. And then I did Chicago Pro the, the following month later and uh, broke, broke the cherry and, and got my feet wet and, and told myself, let's do this. You know, let's not take no time off. Let's jump into it and see what you got, man. You know, you've been waiting this long and let's kick some butt and continue on. So that's where I was at. That's been my journey. <laughs> well, what advice would you give someone coming up? You know, I mean, you went through all the trials and tribulations and everything. What would you say to an up-and-coming yeah, competitor? I've been through so much, you guys, you know, ups and downs or, or you know, you know, the toughness of it, the mentality. All I got to say is just have a great support cast around you, good people around you. Keep your mindset right. Uh, continue to move forward, motivate and, and inspire. You know, don't listen to the negativities. And we're all different. We're all different out there. Our body structures, I mean, it's good to look at someone and compete and have a goal to go against, but don't let that ruin your life. We're different styles of body types and structures and take what you got and go with it. I know I'm not complete everywhere around, but I'm gonna take what I have and I'm gonna use it out there. So use it to your pride. And not to mention, we're, we're in one of the toughest sports there is that yeah. people getting judged to be in a, in a two-piece or a, you know, a bathing suit, you know? And Every angle. Everybody, yeah. yeah, so who can say just to do that alone, uh, you know, takes a lot of guts and courage. So just take pride in yourself. Don't worry about trophies. Don't worry about placings. Just worry about making yourself the best complete person that you can possibly be mentality-wise and body-wise by putting yourself through that three-month torture of prep, you know, to say, wow. You know, I might have not got top 10 or, or top five, but you know what? I stepped out there, I got placed, and I also got judged out there in front of everybody, and I did it. You know, that's the most important thing, and I did it with a smile, and now let's go eat some pizza. <laughs> that's good advice. Is anyone you want to thank for getting ready for show? You know, a lot of people to thank. My, my support system around there, thank you guys so much. My sponsors at Blackstone Labs, PJ that's coaching me this year. He's been nothing but great. PJ Brown, I love you, man. Thanks for all of what you've done for me. Always looking out for your athletes and taking care of them and you know all in all guys you know everybody on Instagram the team the B from Blackstone Labs the Legion group you know you guys have been so supportive of Rue um, you know and just looking out for me and, and also fresh meal plans for coming through always getting me right on my diet and just you know everybody involved man just being around me and my circle who knows Rue they know who I am and they know that you know motivation inspiring and, and you know just create positivity you know that's it and, and I got that so far this prep and then in my circle right now and it's been golden so you're gonna to want to follow this guy on Instagram give me your Instagram account rudog33 come follow it let's be great you guys well we're all excited to see you compete thank you thank and thank you for taking the time here appreciate I really appreciate it it's Frank Seppi for NPC News Online